Hey everyone, my name is Mulder and welcome to our Man Eater Gameplay Tips and Tricks bonus clip. In this Man Eater Gameplay Tips and Tricks video, I'll be going over four of the best locations in the game that you can go hunting for nutrients rewards such as caches, landmarks, targets, license plates, where you can take on some of the easiest Apex predators along with areas that are best to fight all the bounty hunters. All that and more straight ahead. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Without further ado, let's take another dive into Man Eater Gameplay Tips and Tricks bonus clip. First location is Crawfish Bay. This is the fastest area to get all your caches, landmarks, license plates in under an hour. It's also a great food location for finding off all the bounty hunters you have left on your list to conquer. Once I jumped into this area, not only was I able to get everything I needed to fully upgrade my shark to level 30, but I took down the last six bounty hunters I had on my list in this area because of the fact there was such a high potency of food for me to find for my shark whenever I was close to losing too much health. Crawfish Bay is literally the easiest place to get all the remaining nutrients towards you need to upgrade your shark. You can jump into this area once you reach Elder Shark level. The second location is Dead Horse Lake. Dead Horse Lake is a great location to take on your first string of bounty hunters to take down, along with fighting your first Apex Predator. The nutrients rewards in this area are quite easy to pick up, and you should be able to pick up over half the nutrients rewards in this area like caches, license plates, and landmarks, etc even as you're still a baby or a teen shark. There will be a few license plates that will be out of your reach, along with a few areas that you can't explore yet because your shark may not be big enough, but definitely come back to this area once you've reached the adult shark form. I was able to upgrade my shark by at least five levels once I was able to get over half the nutrients rewards in this area collected. Definitely take your time in this area for sure. The third location is Fall Tick Bayou. Now the bayou is the first area you'll jump into as a baby shark at the start of this game. It is also the easiest area to get the majority of the caches and landmarks to find underwater within the first couple hours of playing the game. This is definitely an area you want to explore the hardest once you first start out. Just try to avoid fighting anything that wants to attack you. You will find a few license plates out on land that you can jump out of the water to get to, even as a baby shark, just take your time getting through these. The majority of the caches and landmarks in this area, along with some of the license plates, will be easy to find even as just a baby shark. The license plates that will be out of your reach will be the ones that you'll have to come back as a higher level shark to jump out of the water and grab them. Definitely come back to this area once you become a teen or an adult shark so you can take down the apex predator alligator along with targets in the area. Area. Because of the size of this area, along with it being the first area that you jump into as a baby shark, everything to grab in this area is easy to get. Definitely come back here and get at least 90 to 95% of the bayou taken care of before you move on to the game if you want to level up fast. The fourth and final location is Golden Shores. This is another area that's great for getting all the caches and landmarks and license plates that you need, provided that you have the upgrades needed for your shark to survive on land long enough to jump out of the water and hop into small pools of water to then get the caches inside of them. The majority of the nutrients rewards that you can get in this area will all be on land. If you manage to take down the Apex Predator Alligator in the bayou, his upgrade will allow you to stay on land a lot longer, which comes in handy when taking on the Golden Shores area if you want to find everything that you need. This is also another great area for food stores, so if you want to take on Bounty Hunters here instead of Crawfish Bay, feel free to do so. Also, the Apex Predator Mako, which in my opinion is the easiest Apex Predator to take down in this game, is in this area. Overall, Golden Shores is a great place to mess around in with your shark to get easy upgrades and take down an Apex Predator along with a few Bounty Hunters since the food source in this area is so high. So I hope these four locations help you out as well to reach max level for your shark. And that's all the time I have today for this Man Eater Gameplay Tips and Tricks bonus clip. Thank you so much for watching this video and checking out the Mulder Game Cron channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. We continue to cover your favorite games like Man Eater, Minecraft, Bleeding Edge, Overwatch, Resident Evil 3, Doom, and much more. We'll be covering some brand new games coming very soon as well. But what would you like to see? Leave a comment below and message me and let me know what you want me to cover next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.